And we're back, and I still have a million internal issues here. Turns out the ducks are revolting. I thought you've been saying that all along. It's true. The ducks have always been revolting. And will they always be revolting? Presumably. They're showing no signs of stopping. I have killed literally millions of them at this point. Oof. I mean, getting my religious unity up is helping, I'm sure. I mean, could I fight Austria and, uh... You could, but the answer is, should Livonia. you? I mean, I don't want to. That's the bigger picture. I have no call on us to send. Damn it. I don't think they're even in colonial range. See, there's this place I was planning to wall off once I can start, start uh, colonizing. It's called Manja Brazil. Mm -hmm. I think they're I think they're uh, pretenders. Makes sense. F the Falkland Islands is uh, Traplandia. Is that like? in this universe of uh, being where Trap is born. Oh no, FSN 9 You cut off there. Uh, well, one of the big more important things that I said was FSN 9 Garant was dead. Well, that's excellent. Terrible. Where, where will I possibly get another FSN 9? Battle tech or battle mechs aren't growing on trees over here. I almost said battle techs. I mean, battle techs aren't growing on trees either. I mean, you're not wrong. For one thing, it doesn't exist. Then we will make it exist. You know what's one of the things that really annoys me? Ducks? Well, that too. But I was going to go with when you use automatic transport and it splits your army, it always puts your general in the second, f the, the second or, well, the last, technically, the last trip over. I did not notice that, honestly. And I'm just like, I want my general in the first trip over so that he can lead the initial assault. Right? What if you split it into two units before? You can do it manually, transport. but if you yeah. use the automatic transport, that's what it does. Right. And I feel like it shouldn't have that behavior. Is it trying to be a true to life general, though? Oh, hey! As long as I can stay as far far away from the battlefield as possible. I mean, modern day true to life, general.
Okay. It feels like the pace of the rebellions has slowed down. I've actually had a moment to construct some buildings. Oh. It'll be speeding up again here in a minute, but this is this is nice. Yep, three more are coming. And then a million more after that. But I'm making money. I have plenty of manpower. It's just annoying to have to deal with this many rebellions. But my overextension is now gone. Well, the Aztecs are keeping it up, as per usual. You're not wrong. And at this point, I don't think I want to see them succeed. Just because I don't know what happens then. Shoe is in Mexico and California. Yeah. And Cascadia, which is Canada. And, uh... Washington. And Alaska. Yeah, what I can afford to build up to my full, that will be nice. Although, in the meantime, I think you're going to have a... Yeah, I think you're going to be able to have just a fuller army for quite some... A, a more full army for quite some time, just due to how much... Right, how scattered I am and whatnot. Yeah. I am missing an infantryman in this army. There we go. Well, a regiment of infantrymen. So I'm missing... I, I have misplaced a thousand troops. Ah! It'll be fine. I'm sure. <sighs> The Emperor of Manja has misplaced a thousand of his troops. How embarrassing. <laughs> right? <laughs> Actually, I didn't misplace them. It just lagged when I was trying to queue them up. And so I just never made them. Ah. When is my truce up with Imarina? A long time. What about Congo? It's up right now, technically. I could fight Congo. I don't really have troops in position for it. I'd make a new army. I could just tell Axum to do it. Yeah, I was gonna say you could just have Axum fight. They seem they seem to be really wanting to make up for a lot of stuff these <laughs> days. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, Axum is literally Buddyburg if Buddyburg had more troops these days. You're not wrong. Okay, do I have a claim on Congo? That's the next question. I have a reconquest, apparently. From Tio. That works. Do I want a co-belligerent Kazembe? Kinda do. I 
I'm sure you're gonna be very useful. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm I'm going to immediately bring down army maintenance completely. Hmm, that sounds handy. And whereas mothball forts Brandenburg will probably actually come over there. And oh, I'll... Rebellion. Here? Okay. I'll swing over and deal with that. I'm assuming since I'm at war, I cannot... Yep, I cannot... Uh, annex any of these people. Or not annex, I cannot pass these people yet. This war won't be long. Still trying to get him up. I'm so close at least, so it'll. I might only be there by the time we're piecing out of the world. Oh, look who's murking up. That's cute. It might have something to do with the fact that I stack wiped his army. Oh. And here comes Axum rolling in. Yeah, there's a there's no chance for Congo here. Now what's the war goal? And Ziku. Okay. I really don't care about that. You can have that back, Tio. It claims I have two mercenary units somewhere. That's exciting. Oh, I found him. How long have you had those for? I don't even want to know. All I know is one is Blizzard and one is Frang. Sounds right. Who knows, that might actually, like... Help me a huge. Hmm, I just moved my troops out of that area. That's obnoxious. I'll slow enough, anyways. Guess we'll you have know to go what? Around. I'm kind of glad now I can use this as a chance to uh, raise war taxes while not using my military at all. Sounds using right. war tax to pay off my corruption instead. <laughs> Which I would think would all, should also technically, just by what that is, should lead to even more corruption, I would assume. I mean, by the game it doesn't, but one would assume, oh hey, you raised funds for this, but you're using them for this instead. Okay, Congo is now fully occupied. Okay, global trade is uh, embraced on my southernmost Arabian peninsulas. But not in any of my French ones yet. I'll admit I'm not surprised that two of the Sardinian ones. They're not Sardinian, wow. <laughs> um, two of the uh, Sicilian ones.
No, I have no, uh... I have no available diplomats. Oh. There we go. I've only been annexing Axum for 18,000 days right now. Like, legit. 18,250 days. A little ridiculous. Okay. Uh, Shu has not been armed yet. Not a single one. And no sign of an explosion yet. I mean, I thought that's what the reforms were also to prevent. Meaning that no reforms mean possible an explosion. Okay. So that was a land grab there. Um, my overextension is rather on the high side right now. I so, see. I'm uh, going to have a lot of rebellions for a little bit here. Oof. And by that I mean a whole lot of rebellions. Before I was having a lot of rebellions. Now I'm going to be having a ton of rebellions. But the good news is, I now completely encircle Africa. Yep, I saw. Well, technically because of a vassal. Well, sure. Okay, well it is time to put a cut in here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and next episode I'm gonna kill so many rebels, it's gonna be ridiculous.